Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with a great free video editor called VSDC. They came to me and asked if there was any way that we could partner together to get the word out about their video editing platform, knowing that video editing is a pretty hot topic among my audience of video hobbyists and GoPro enthusiasts. So this is the very first in a series of video tutorials here on my channel, and this is definitely gonna be geared toward video editing beginners. So if you are a PC user and you're looking for a great platform for editing your videos and you don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money, then hit that link in the description below this video and you can check out VSDC right along with me here in these tutorial videos. So VSDC is, like I said, a free video editor. It's a full feature featured video editor, and you can even edit your 4K footage with it. It is only available for PC users, and I'm gonna show you around the platform in just a minute. Now, there is a pro version of VSDC. It runs about $20, not bad, right? And although you can do pretty much anything and everything with the free version, there are a few features of that pro version that I think will come in very handy, and I'll get to those in just a minute. But right now, I wanna dive into the free version and help you get started editing your videos with VSDC. So let's hop onto the PC. Now, before I dive right into VSDC, I wanna let you know that you can download my one-page cheat sheet. This is perfect for um, anybody that's brand new to editing videos. It kind of just gives you a step-by-step -step of what to do and how to start your new project and things like that. A couple of um, helpful, friendly reminders. Again, it's totally geared toward beginners. And I'll put a link in the description below this video of where you can download that cheat sheet, um, or you can just head over to vidpromom.com slash VSDC cheat sheet. So let's dive in here. When you first download VSDC and you install it on your PC, you will probably get this pop-up window asking you to upgrade to Pro. You don't have to worry about that right now. Um, we'll get into Pro a little bit later, but for now I just kind of want to show you the free version. Um, and the free version, like I mentioned, is a free fully functioning, full featured um, video editor. So um, you have a bunch of options to choose from when you first open it up here. Um, we're gonna go with a blank project. So I actually, I'm gonna hit this button up here. I'm gonna hit new project. So at this point, you should have some clips on your hard drive. Maybe they're GoPro clips or maybe they're from your phone or something. Um, we need to give our project a title. So I'm gonna call this ADK because I have some footage from the Adirondacks. So I don't need to do anything with the author or the copyright or anything like that. But down here under resolution, I do need to select, I'm doing full HD 1920 by 1080. So that's what I shoot in, that's what I edit in, and that is what I export in. So this is gonna be your own personal preference. I always recommend, especially for beginners, that you just stick with 1080. It's so much easier. Um, so I'm going to hit my 1080 there. And I always also use 30 frames per second. I know that 60 is sometimes a popular choice. So if you want to choose 60, that's fine. If you shot your footage in 60, um, I always go with 30. So I'm just going to select 30. And then you have a couple of other um, options here, but I'm just going to hit open a, a blank project and hit finish. So now I have a blank project here. You can see that I have, this is gonna be my playback window. Um, this is gonna be the timeline down here. We have some properties over here. We have this Projects Explorer over here, which I don't use a whole lot uh, because I don't set up multiple scenes within my project. Um, so I'm actually gonna close that down so I have a little more space here. And then up at the top, by default, we have this um, editor uh, sort of menu up here. Um, we also have, there's a view menu, um, which this is where you can kind of open up that project explorer there. Um, you have this edit menu. This is where you're gonna find your um, kind of basic you know, software functions like cut, copy, paste, delete, um, and things like that. So um, I'm gonna come back over here to editor. So what we need to do first off here is import some of our footage. So I have a couple of clips here. Um, what we're gonna do is 
we're going to hit add object. And when we do that, we get a little bit of a menu. And way down at the bottom, we have video. So you see a bunch of different options here. We're going to talk about um, adding text uh, and some of these other things later, like adding a still image and background music. But for now, we're just going to add in some video. So this opens up my Dropbox folder. I have four clips here. I'm going to hold down my control button on my keyboard so that I can select three of these at one time. And I'm going to hit open. So when you add multiple clips at once, it gives you this um, kind of this wizard window um, where you can either do nothing and just hit apply settings, or if you want to, you can rearrange these if you want, if you need to put them in a different order um, or anything like that. And then you also have these transitions. If you want to add some transitions between your clips, you just select one and drag it down to that little arrow that's between two clips. So that's where you would put your transitions. If you want to remove that, all you have to do is just make sure it's selected and then just hit remove. You can also remove any of these clips if you want just by hitting the X that highlights in red here. So I have my three clips. I'm not gonna add any transitions right now because I kind of like to keep things pretty simple. Um, and then I'm gonna hit apply settings and it's going to add my clips to the timeline. Um, inside of something called a sprite, which is kind of like um, a bundle, if you will, of video clips. So if you've used Premiere Pro before, it's kind of like when you nest your clips, if you're familiar with that. Um, if not, don't worry about it. But if I double click on this, then it opens up a timeline that's a little bit more familiar looking. So on this timeline, each clip is on its own layer. And this is a little bit confusing at first because it's actually kind of the opposite of what you would expect. Um, your bottom layer here, the one that's down here at the bottom, is actually the top layer of what you see. So let me just explain real quick. So you can see on your screen right now, um, there's a lake and there's a sky and stuff, right? Well, my um, cursor, my time indicator, my scrubber bar, whatever you want to call it, that's, it's showing you this clip right here, okay? This clip over here is, let's see, let's find a good spot is my daughter, right? So we can see it's it's right there. If I take this clip and I move it, in a typical video editor, if I move this clip over top of that one, it would hide the one that is below it. With VSDC, it's the opposite. It's the one that is down here on the very bottom that you see on top. If I select this one down here on the bottom and I make it a little bit smaller, you can see what I'm talking about here right so you have your two layers the one on the bottom is the one that you actually visually see on top now you can move all these layers around I'm going to move this back um so let's just say this one here on the bottom if I wanted to move it if I go like that then it kind of moves it to the bottom of the of the visual stack so to speak so I'm gonna actually hit um, undo here and go back there so there's some basic um, editing functions here within the program like um, trimming your clips and splitting your clips doing fast forward and stuff like that we're gonna talk about that in the very next video so this one was just how to get started with VSDC and um, and how to import your footage and get going so if you're a total beginner at video editing and you want to follow along with this tutorial and the others then go ahead and download VSDC right from their website um, you can import your footage. You can kind of rearrange things a little bit, get it in you know the right order. I would recommend starting with maybe four or five clips to start with and then add some more clips as you go. In fact, let me show you how to add additional clips. So I had these four, I only imported the three to begin with. So when you import just one clip, 
You're going to select it, hit open, and it's going to, instead of bringing you to that wizard window, it's going to ask you where you want it to be inserted. So you can see here on my timeline, my cursor, my scrubber bar is right here. So if I have this selected from cursor position, then that's where it's going to uh, insert it. So it's going to put it on its own track. So you don't have to worry about overriding anything. And then you can move it around however, um, however you need to. I want to make this a little bit smaller. So I can move this um, down here. And you can kind of, you know, basically just keep adding things to your timeline, rearranging them, and we'll get into all the basic editing functions. So just make sure that before you close out of your program or shut your computer down that you save this project. Just hit save and then decide where you want it to save to. If you need to, you can write down the location so you can find it again. So like I mentioned, the pro version has a few more features and there's a couple of those features that I think are pretty important. One of them is video video stabilization and the other one is waveforms. I find it so much easier to edit my videos when I can actually see those visual waveforms when I'm editing. I can get a lot more precise with my jump cuts and it's just easier. So to be able to see the waveforms alone, I think it's worth a $20 upgrade. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how all of those basic video editing functions work within VSDC and we'll also talk about some more advanced functions like how to add slow motion and fast forward to your clips. And we'll see what other fun stuff VSDC can do when we're editing our videos. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss the next video in the series. And hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about VSDC. I'd be happy to try and answer them in the comments section or I might even answer your question in my next video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time. Bye.